So you want to build your first email template using Canva. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to do this with a powerful magic graphic designer tool, in this case, Canva. But let's get started. First of all, what you need to do is to have a Canva account. I'm going to leave the link down below in the description just in case you don't have your Canva account. So then here is going to be asking you, what would you like to use Canva for? Usually what everybody does is to go focus into the personal mode. Now, you can try to try Canva Pro free for the next 30 days if you wanted to. If you don't, that's totally okay. Today, we're going to be focusing into getting started here with Canva with an actual free account so you don't have to worry about paid absolutely anything. The first things first, what you want to do is to choose an actual template. You want to head to Canva and select the email header right here it says search your content. This one is going to be showing you a lot of templates that you can use for your email templating. So what you want to do is to choose the one that best suits for you and then later on go in to customize this template. This is the part where you can provide a priority template tailor for the email design. Next step is to customize the layout and the structure. Now here, by customizing the layout and the structure of your email, drag and drop elements adjust the spacing and ensure a clean, organized design. So I'm going to hit into add a page. And here there's another structure. So here I can focus now into the left part. I'm going to skip the tour. And here into templates, I'm going to go for email. Now I have more than just one header. So I can add information about my branding, I can add information about the energy, I can create and craft persuasive copy and paste element. For example, clicked in here and I have the September newsletter. I can double click here and I can change this for, let's say for example, March. And what I wanted to make sure is that all the actual tools that appears down here goes directly into the upper side. So in this case, since we are going to be using these purple colors, I can use those purple colors and go here for the folded colors and click here. And automatically, I now have a design that relates with the one that I have here above. Now I'm going to open a new page and here is the part where you want to insert compelling imagery. Now you can enhance your email visuals appeal by adding compelling imagery. This could be a productive photos, graphic or visuals that resonates with your message. Since we're going to be making some sales of the newsletter here in March, I'm going to hit here into elements. And here what I'm going to do is to look out for happy family. Now let's go here into photos and you can see there's a lot of images that we can use for our email. I'm going to be moving this into the corner and drag this directly into the all the all way down. And I'm going to double click it and then I'm going to scrolling my actual image till I get the visuals that I'm going to be looking for. Double click again and we're actually good to go. As you can see, our actual email is looking great so far. I'm going to add a new page and this is the part where I wanted to add elements. For example, something about text. I can add subtext and I can add a little body to the actual text. There we go. Please consider introducing new products to diversify our offerings. Doesn't look that bad. Then later on, I can just leave this like that and I can add a new page and I can uh, focus into creating more and more elements. This is the last part which you wanted to include call to action buttons. Host the place near and clickable call to action buttons, whether it's a shop now, learn more or subscribe guide your audience to take this action. I'm going to go here into my elements and I'm going to go for a button. And as you can see here, are a lot of graphics that we can use for our button. In this case here, I'm going to copy and paste this text and I'm going to put it here. And let's go for a shop now. And lastly, I'm going to try to make this bold, center it and make it a little bit much more bigger for my button. As you can see now, it looks so great. And in this case, I'm going to try to make this wide. And there we go. It looks really great so far. Lastly, what I wanted to do is to download out and export it. But first of all, what you wanted to do is to make sure that this button sends you guys into somewhere else. In this case, I'm going to go for the three dots and go for linked. Here into linked, what you wanted to do is to type the actual uh, website of your store. In this case, what I'm going to be doing here is just to type Instagram, just as an example that this actually works. As you can see, it is uh, looking great so far. Now, what I wanted to do now is to go here into the search, into share, and go for download. Now, this is the part where you wanted to make this email template actually make the integration with the email marketing tool. In this case, what I'm going to be doing here, since this is going to be a clickable image, I'm going to be using the actual PDF standard. So all the pages are going to be gathered into just one and go now into download. Now, as you can see here is my PDF already been downloaded. 
what I'm going to do here is to double click so I can check out how it actually looks to my PDF. As you can see, all of them actually goes into different images. So what I wanted to do is to use all of those elements into just one page. And to do this, what you wanted to do is to do one of two things. Whether what you can do is to just go for email newsletter back into Canva. I click here into a blank design is to copy your design and paste it here. Lastly, what I can do and show you like the most easiest part, if you don't want to do this, the process one by one, then what you wanted to do is to go and add a new page, go directly into the design and here just type email. Here it's going to be showing you a lot of templates that you can use. Unfortunately, there is a lot of the, uh, of course, only with the Canva Pro, but if you kind of like what you're seeing with an, with an actual free version, just click in those and automatically it's going to be added here into Canva. What you can do is just to double click into the elements that you wanted to edit. And then what you want to do is just to add the new stuff that you wanted to add into your design. Even what you can do is to try to change the fonts and so much more elements. And as you can see, we have done a really great work now here using this actual email. But that would be like the first person, the second way, or the most easiest way, which is using an actual template here into Canva. And there you have it guys, a really great captivating email template inside Canva. If you find this tutorial helpful guys, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more design insights and hit that notification bell. Thank you so much for watching the video guys, hopefully we can all see you in a brand new video of Zaxpress.